Thanks, Chad. I'm Steven Human. Now, most people don't ever want to get stuck in a hole. Well, today, I'm going to show why that's not such a bad thing. I'm out here in Emory County, out of the small town of Emory, and I'm going to take you on an ATV trip that is going to blow your mind. Emory, Utah is about as small a place as you can get. Quiet, but beautiful. Its place on Highway 10, just north of I-70, makes it an access point to adventure that few other places can match. And I learned that firsthand today as I set my sights west of town into the mountains and trails of the Arapine. I've explored east of Emory on the San Rafael Swell many times, but this is my first foray into the west, where desert meets forest and bluffs tower over fertile valleys. It was eye-opening to be sure, and our chosen route quickly took us into a hole. The whole trail is a trail that brings you up out of the muddy canyon. Years ago, the whole trail had washed out and it was, had been impassable. And the Forest Service decided to reopen it again as just a, an ATV 50-inch size trail. And so they run their trail cat down through it. It's been a pretty good challenge for them over the years to to keep it maintained because there's spots on there that are constantly washing out and, and they're having to reroute and, and, and repair. But, but the whole trail has become probably one of the most popular trails here in the area. Fantastic view went from almost desert to rocks to trees to nice forest, grass. It's beautiful up here. I just, I'd, I'd stay here, I've been here all my whole life. <laughs> And it's easy to see why. Within a half hour, you pass from grass areas wet with swampy mud to fertile valleys set between white pillars to rocky trails that push your skill while challenging your perception of the area. After another half hour, you come out on top of the mountain and can gaze out over hundreds of miles on a clear day while driving through meadows and looking up at white cliffs of limestone that are completely different from other formations in the area. It's no wonder so many residents never leave and so many others choose to make this their home after a single visit. I love it. I just love four-wheeling. That, that's what brought me here to Utah. We were stopping on our way from Wisconsin. That's where I'm originally from. Ended up buying a house and now I spend my summers here and my winters in Yuma, Arizona. Diverse terrain is the key to a memorable ride and it seems like everywhere we turn there is something different. A new color or environment to pass through. We rode for 75 miles, which for anyone who's ever taken a ride like that, you know we covered some ground. But we saw some impressive territory, and all of it was accessible on our ATVs. There's something about this area west of Highway 10 that feels underappreciated. The locals know about it, sure, but most people outside of this little corridor of towns are completely oblivious to what they're missing. It's something residents are trying to change. This land is worth sharing, and they aren't afraid to spread the word. Within minutes, I can be on the, in the desert or I can be on the mountain. People just get so caught up in, you jump on the freeway and you just race past these, these little areas like Emory County and don't really take the time to take the scenic byways and to see what, what kind of scenery there really is out through there. It can be a challenge to change our travel routine sometimes and get off the freeway in a new area. But when you're promised experiences like this and sights like these, there's no reason to limit yourself with the same old drive. The Arapine system has something for everyone. And if you find yourself on the whole trail, well, you'll understand why this is one place you'll be glad to get stuck. There's so many treasures in Utah that are really, people just haven't really had the opportunity to get out and explore. We hope they'll take the time to come and and visit us. We have a lot of things to offer down here. They're missing a lot of, uh, of, of country and a lot of beauty uh, throughout this area if they don't come this way. Bring some respect with you, respect for the machine, respect for the trails, and respect for what other people enjoy also. This has been a great trip out here on the whole trail. The Arapine is massive. You can come out here for a week and not hit the same area twice. Now, we left out of Emory today, which is a small town on Highway 10, just north of I-70. And there are lots of places to stay in this area along the 
10 corridor. You've got places in Castle Valley and Farron that you can stay at. And then right out of Emory, you have Castle Valley Outdoors, which is a ranch that is very beautiful and you can stay there as well. And you don't have to access this area from Emory. Right there over my shoulder is Mill Site Reservoir. You can hit it from there, you can hit it from Farron in any number of different locations. Well, I'm Stephen Hewen for At Your Leisure. I hope you come out here and enjoy the Arapine and the whole trail. Right now, we gotta take a commercial break and we'll be back with more of At Your Leisure. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.